questions over the time, so let's start. Hello, um, I welcome you. Um, my name is Peter Lehmann. For the people who do not know me, um, I come from the Black Forest in Germany. I'm educated as a social pedagogist, live in Berlin, and work there as an author and an editor. In 86, I founded Peter Lehmann Publishing, and I published different publications. For example, this month's um, on this topic, um, what users and survivors uh, really want um, about um, possibilities to come off psychedelic drugs. Many people who are on drugs want this, and the next book is just in preparation. Um, it's about um, alternatives beyond psychiatry. I thank here to the sponsors who allow me to come here. This is my family. Um, when I'm here, I do not earn money or only a little from book seller, book sales. Um, I'm here, so I cannot work paid, self-employed. So thank you very much for my family to be here. Um, and of course, you can um, visit me later uh, at the book stands. Book stand. Um, I'm a member of many um, organizations. Um, now I'm board member of the European network. Um, I'm member of the international network toward alternatives and recovery. And um, in my past, I um, crossed quite often the border between the US survival movement and um, joining um, congresses or meetings of psychiatrists. I even was in the board of mental health Europe. In general, I'm then the only survivor there and have to deal with psychiatrists alone. Um, and I made some symposiums on um, biological psychiatry congresses or other congresses, and I'm very glad to have here the possibility to make the, own, the only use of controlled or survivor controlled um, symposium. Um, I had the possibility to invite some people to give lectures. I will introduce them. And the topic, what users, survivors of psychiatry really want, is very clear. There have been a lot of um, user-led research about this. Um, for example, when I was in the board of the German Organization of Users, Sex Users and Survivors, in 95, he has been asked by a journal called Social Psychiatric Information if he wanted to possibly participate in a survey on the subject of improving the quality of psychiatric treatment. Of course, there was a discussion um, can you um, improve the quality which is not there? Um, or what can you do to, um, to change uh, the quality, to um, start the quality? And this was um, one of the basic um, experiences with Dorothea Book, which was with me um, in, this, uh, in this board. We always disagreed on everything, um, but we cooperated and we decided yes, we will participate and change the questions. And we asked them did psychiatrists address the problems which led to your admission? Was your dignity, dignity respected at all times? Were you fully and comprehensively informed about of the risks and so-called side effects? Were you informed about alternatives to treatment or alternative treatments? And um, a lot of members, over 100 of the organization responded. The result was only 10% of those who um, said that the psychiatry had, had helped them find a solution to the problems. 90% said that their dignity has been violated, and 100% said there was no information about so-called side effects and alternatives. It means 100% um, treatment without informed consent. And um, these or similar um, results have been from other researches. A few years ago, the European Network made um, research for the European Commission um, about um, discrimination faced by people. Um, European Network 
made a um, survey together with a lot of um, national organizations or um, professional organizations um, from UK, Austria, Netherlands, France, um, together with Mental Health Europe about discrimination of youth survivors in, in the field of medicine and in the field of psychiatry. And we found that psychiatric patients are systematically discriminated against the medical, in the medical and psychiatric sector. Conclusion is that youth sex users are survivors of psychiatry and not only in Europe are calling for changing in the psychosocial field, starting with a psychiatric system which respects human rights all the way to alternatives beyond psychiatry in a society free of psychiatry. Funding and rights effective and appropriate help in psychosocial emergencies and the right to choose among alternatives these are the solutions they propose and which accurately express their needs and wants. The same to families, organizations, um, as far as they are not sponsored and influenced by the money of the pharmaceutical industry. I will now introduce the first um, speaker the lecture, David Oaks, he speaks about respecting human rights. This, by the way, this was a poster um, of this um, European um, research which we did and published in 2004. You can find it on the website of the European Network. Um, this poster should be distributed in all psych psychiatric wards. Um, but um, when we finished the poster, the European Commission decided that it should be distributed by a commercial agency. That means it was never, ever anywhere distributed. Um, 